How are you guys doing? As a big Master League Online MLO fan, I really needed a break from it. Believe it or not, Master League Online sometimes can get very frustrating. You want to smash the controller on your head. I mean, at the moment, I am dealing with constant opponents with a terrible connection. I can barely make a pass. And if they're not, if they have a good connection, they either lag sheet you or long ball spam you or pace whore you or you know just not play proper and what's with the rainbow flag I have people doing that all the way to the box and you don't even know how to control the ball he's basically air dribbling you anyway so I needed an alternative and I cannot believe that I ignored Pro Evo Network I knew about this uh, ultimate league setup since uh, back in 2000 uh, you know, I think it was two years ago. Only started playing uh, Pro Evolution Soccer online since past 2011, and um, I just never made an effort to get to know the guys. And this year, you know, I really needed a break from Master League Online, so I went up, I signed up. It's it's a great setup, guys. I mean, everything is like real life. If you like Master League Online, but you're sick of the peop you're sick of the way the people play online, this is the right place for you. If you're a PES lover, once you join Pro Evo Network, it's like a home. You just want to chill and, you know, get on with these super friendly guys. I mean, uh, just to let you know, guys, I am not promoting for Pro Evo Network. They don't need this. I'm only doing this because I have a lot of people asking me, what's Pro Evo Network? You know, I told them, go sign up. The people are really, and I mean it, they're really super friendly. They never, never hesitate to inbox you, to reply to you instantly whenever they can with any help that you can have. I mean, this is a league for men, guys. Not for kids with attitude, I could tell you that. So what is Pro Evo Network? Okay, it's a website that created by one of the um, PES fans, you know, dedicated PES fans. And um, it's basically, it's like Master League or Master League Online, but you will play with real opponents. Now if I can quickly go through this, it's very simple. You sign up, there's PS3 League, there's Xbox League, there's Division 1 and there's Premier, uh, Premier Division. Once, once you sign up, you can join PS3 League or Xbox League, whatever you can. Now, at the moment, the PS3 League is full, but there's always going to be a place. When I signed up, it was full and somebody dropped, you know, if you don't play your game for a limited time, a month or two, you'll be removed and somebody else, you know, will be replaced. But I think there's um, um, places on Xbox League. So, once you sign up, you'll be given a league, you will instantly get help. People will tell you everything what you need to know. I'm just gonna tell you the basic things what's Pro Evo Network League setup is about and if you have any more questions, links are in the description. Just sign up and ask all the admin. They are super friendly. Again, I'm telling you guys and I mean it. I mean, I've, I've, I was actually surprised. I feel like a superstar when I first joined. And uh, okay, anyway. So, the first thing, you will be given a team, a random team, okay? And then, once you be given that team, you will be given 19 random players. Fair, balanced players for different positions. And then, once you have your team and your players, you can see an example. This, this is after I signed up. This is a welcome message. I've been given a team and you can see on the left, this is my uh, profile, PESIB. You know, you can see the PS3 logo. I'm, I'm, in, I'm playing in the PS3 league. Uh, the team I've been given was Espanol with the random picked up players, not Espanol's players, random picked up players by the admins. And you can see the Division 1 logo because I'm playing in Division 1. And you have your PS3 and Xbox, you know, gamer tags there for people who want to play against, you know, they can add you and arrange the game setup. So this is what you get first. And then after that, you will get a database of your teams. This is my team. I mean, there's more. You get 19 players. But this is an example. You can see I am the owner of uh, Tadic and the Italian Galopa. And what makes this interesting, guys, it's not like Master League Online. You really need to work hard. It's like a real-life uh, managing business. You can't just hit X and buy a player. You have to work your way up. The more games you play, the more... Uh, let's just call Prevo Network P-E-N, PEN, okay? Now, the more games you play, the more PEN money you earn. You can work your way up to buy other players. Now, what interests me the most, guys, is very realistic. Because, for example, you can see Jankovic, rated AE2. I'm the owner of Jankovic. I'm the only one who has Jankovic, just like real life. So, if anybody else wants Jankovic, he has to talk to me. I'm the owner. He has to offer me deals, trading, 
transfer or whatever you know whatever offer that he has and all offers and trading has been done in public so nobody can rip anybody off now this is more interesting guys and the other thing guys and nobody actually have Ronaldo or Messi because it's more realistic nobody can afford these guys do you know what I mean the highest rated player I'm gonna show you guys here uh, where did I put it now you can see the highest rated players in the league setup is actually um, Riquelme rated 92 and is owned by uh, Paris Jai and um, you know Toti is owned by Dorta Boy oh, I'm trying so hard to get Toti off him but there's no way I think he's worth like I don't know um, 50 million I think uh, by the way to forget to tell you guys once you be given a team you have a starting um, uh, money you'll have 40 million so you'll be given a team of 19 players, fairly good team, okay, and you have 40 millions to kind of adjust your team, to kind of hunt down other players that you want, speak to their owner. For example, you know, if, if I want Toti, I actually have to talk to Dora Boy to see what kind of offers he has, you know, does he want money for it, does he want to transfer with a fair good player, so this, we'll, get to that, we'll get to that later because I'm going to tell you guys how to actually create your team once you be given a team. So as you can see here, I mean, you don't see Ronaldo, you don't see Messi, you don't see Robin, you don't see Hulk. So this will tell you how these guys play, okay? There is no long ball spamming, there's no glitching, there's no time wasting on purpose. If you gain a bad rep reputation, this is not a place for you, you'll be kicked. And I've, I'll talk about my first game I played against um, one of my opponents it was my first game and it was very very enjoyable I mean I'm normally used to Master League Online with the whole spamming and abusing and I'm like oh, almost you know even when I'm winning I'm like almost smashing my controller because it's so angry it's like you hate your opponents like oh, I'm gonna do you know what I mean guys this is a feeling when I play Master League Online and when I play these guys I was like okay I really need to calm down I'm so used to Master League Online I mean this guy is playing so calmly and he's actually playing football he's not playing pets he's playing football it was very enjoyable guys and at the end of the game you know sending me good game mate very well played I was like it was a very great feeling because I normally when I win a game on Master League Online I get a message calling me puta and madre and you know whatever the other things are but um, okay guys let's get, let's get back okay so now you gained you have you've been given a team and you've been given uh, 19 players how do you create that team and save it then load it in matchroom to use it i'm gonna t go uh, through that and show you guys here quickly now guys once you've given been given a team and um random 19 players uh, i'm gonna show you guys how to create that team so you can save the data and then load it in matchroom uh, to use it now we go to edit mode first this is the best and simple way we're gonna do the transfer of the players that have been given and then you go to Master League, you save the data and then you load it, but I'm going to go uh, through it quickly guys, so guys, so, so you would know. So you come to transfer here and you pick your team. I've been given um, Espanol, even though I'm not a big fan of uh, this, uh, Spanish players, but once you be given a team you can't change it unless it's a new season. And this will go on over PS 2015 as well guys. So, I've been given Espanol, okay? Now, you can see on uh, you can see the picture here this is the team that I've been given you know I have Tadic, Galopa um, you know uh, Pedro, Leon so what I basically did uh, now by default these are not the players for Espanol so what you need to do let's say for example um, you have let's not do this because I've already done my team let's say you've been given a team uh, Malika okay and you've been given 19 players now what you do is you press square that tells you at the bottom let's say you want to replace all these players with the 90 players that you've been given by Prevo Network and you want to create your team so what you do is you select square at let's say the 19 one of the 19 players you've been given was I don't know uh, let's just say it was Sagna so you click on Sagna okay register Sagna to proceed the team and you click yes and there you go when you go to Malaga Malaga or Malaga, whatever you call it. There you go, Sagna's here. So you need to do the transfer throughout the 19 players and by every uh, transfer, all these players you've been given by them and you want to create your team. Now once you've done all your 19 players, you come back out of it and then um, you basically, you go back out of this, you go back to the main menu, 
Uh, I've already got auto save on, but make sure that you save it. Now you can you can do that. This is the quickest way, or you can just simply use Master League to buy the players that you want. But that involves a lot of clicking, and sometimes you may not get the player. So this is the fastest way that I would recommend. And then you go to the match room. Uh, sorry, you go to Master League, and you go to New, uh, just so that we can create our um, the team that I was uh, given. And then you select the bottom one, club team lineup, not the default one. And then we come here, uh, we select the team that we've been uh, given by um, Pen Bravo Network, which was uh, we chosen uh, Malaga. We use Malaga as an example. Uh, here we go. And you know, you choose uh, the manager that you are. That doesn't matter. It's just asking you what kind of nationality you want to be in the manager so this is not about this is not about master league i'm just showing you guys how to create the team with the 19 players that have been given by Provo network okay now you go to my team just to, to double check that actually sagna is there um, as you can see he's has to be right at the bottom so there he is and um, what you need to do this is what you do guys I'll, I'll show you an example for one player so you need to do the transfer for all the 19 players you do this once and then every time you buy a new player you know you do this process it's, it's that what makes it a bit interesting guys it's a little bit of a you know um, it makes give you the feeling of a real manager and when you play your games you buy the players that you want so once you've done that guys um, you go to you can even edit your uh, uh, player team numbers and all that you go to system and then you go to save uh, team uh, data once you save it you save it here and then once you go to the friendly online match lobby you load it I'm gonna show you guys that uh, as well in a second so you come out of it that's all you need master league for okay and um, let's go back to the match room to show you guys how you load uh, that team okay so we're gonna go to friendly match lobby let's say I have a fixture to play you know let's say I'm playing against uh, Brazil or one of the uh, names that I can uh, think about top of my head uh, lunatic soul uh, some crazy cool names there um, yeah so th there are forms guys there are forms for discussion about transfer about your opponent about posting the result that you play with your opponent so you pick any lobby make sure not a busy lobby so you won't be um, you know you'll have less players to annoy you uh, you set up your match room, and um, it's, it's very simple, guys. Uh, you you want to set up a little of a uh, password so nobody else can join, only if you invite that player, so nobody will annoy you. Now the settings for for games are actually 50 minutes. Okay, it makes it more interesting. It will give you time to pass about, you know, create a builder play instead of just rushing and trying to score. Condition is random. That makes it fair. Okay, just like real life, not any players in you know in a, in a great form motivation is normal will make the red and the uh, time limit is better to be put it on long you know you're just some people like to take time with their formation or you know whatever that opponent ask or you agreed on there's no extra time and penalty and there's three substitution now you go on here guys and the first thing you need to do is load user data the team that I've been created okay now we're not gonna use Malaga because this was an example I'm going to use uh, my team, which was Espanol. We come here. This is the data that we saved from Master League. We used edit. We used the edit mode to transfer the players that we've been given by Proven Network to create our team, and then we used um, Master League to save the team data. Now we're ready. All you have to do here, guys, go to invite, and um, you just invite whoever. Uh, make sure you make sure you add your opponent as a friend or you know they will add you sometime even before you do so let's say I'm playing against uh, I, I do have a game to play with uh, semi 8-1 uh, but at the moment I'm waiting for uh, about some new player somewhere for the transfer okay anyway so that's what you do you select him and then you invite him he will join the room and uh, there we go guys you kick up for the match and you play against him after the match finishes you know uh, there you go to the forms and you report the match and who scored and if there's clean sheets you know you name the goalkeeper and you know talk about the what you experience about the game uh, positive or negative I don't think you'll find anything po anything negative because I really really enjoyed my first game that I played okay so this is my team in the picture you see guys I showed you how to how you create your team once you be given the 
the chosen team and the 19 players chosen by uh, Pro Evo Network admins. Um, now, you know, you want to start some business. There are some players that others want. They offer you money, they offer you a trade, or there are some players you don't need, or there are certain positions you want. Just like Master League Online, but in a more realistic way, because once you own a player, you're the only owner. Just like real life, okay? And you can't just get a player easily. You have to track down who the owner is, you have to send them a message. Like, for example, there's also, guys, there's tons of forms. There's a form for everything, for discussion, for... It's not just about pets, it's a really, really fun site. So, let's say at the moment, I am dying to get Francesca Totti, but it's impossible because he's very expensive, and who would want to sell him? Anyway, okay, so I've decided as an alternative, okay, I want to get Florenzi. Now, in the forms, as you can see here, guys, there are transfer from transfer market. You just basically uh, start a topping there, say, I want these players, uh, who has it and who wants, you know, what for it or trading, or you can actually just go to the database. There's the, there's a specific database for all the players past 2014, and once you go to that database, it actually shows you, um, you can see it here, this is a database, the database, it shows you all the players and the owners of them and their rating and even their price is very very in details and there's also you know free agent Fridays where there are players are free I'm not sure really really about that I still need to check some information and um, you know there are other uh, public auctions and uh, there are like old players that you can get them for free there's there's a lot of stuff guys okay so let's say I want a specific player I want to buy him and I want to know who owns it now when you go to the database let's say I'm typing in Florenzi, I want Florenzi I hit the search button and it shows up that the guy who owns Florenzi is Al Skyman okay now what you need to do here you click on Florenzi and this menu pops up when this menu pops up guys you can see that little um, mail sign there what you need to do is ask the owner of Florenzi which is Al Skyman tell him is Florenzi available for a trade or for a transfer or for sale and you can get him and you do that for any players you want so this is not about a fast track league guys it's like real life you know you have to play you have to save up you have to work hard to get the players that you want and most of all guys fair play that's what Pro Evo Network is about okay it's about you know men playing football it's not about little kids with attitude master league online style so yeah guys and there are many other features on the site. I mean, uh, you can you can literally view everything. There's no dodgy stuff. You can see it here. You know, all the managers. Managers are basically the, the, the guys who owns the team. Like for example, I'm Peseb and I own Espanol, and you can see it there. Uh, the big boss owns Ajax, and um, there's a wage bill as well. So you do pay a wage for your players, just like real life. So the more expensive players that you have, the more wage you will pay. So take that in mind. You have to be very careful with your money, how you deal with your team. You can see there's more database here, you know, showing PS3 Division, Xbox Premier, you know, squads, uh, Division Auctions, and, you know, everything, there's everything on the information uh, there, guys. And uh, another here, you can see the owners of these uh, certain players. And um, so, yeah, guys, that, that's what it is. So, honestly, if you are sick of Master League Online, you love Master League Online, but if you're sick of the way the people they play so you know this is the right place for you is 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 really really super fun I really enjoyed it and uh, the people are super friendly and now um, if you have any questions guys you know you can um, ask me here I don't know much I know the basic knowledge of how, I've, how everything works because I've just started I've just been given a team so if you have any question just make sure to sign up and say hey I want to join a PS3 league or Xbox league and the admins are super friendly I'm telling you this guys again they will even not even just the admin is like the normal people members like me that you know everybody is very very helpful it actually Pro Evo Network make you feel love pass again unlike when you play Master League Online you go oh, you know I fucking hate this game it's the way that people play it makes you hate the game because after the data pack, guys, I mean, I'm happy with uh, PS 2014 at the moment. No game is perfect, okay? It's the only game I play, and I'm happy playing it. I don't know about you guys, but I don't care. I love it. So that's much about Pro Evo Network, guys. Um, now I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a highlight of the first game I played, 
which was against uh, semi 81 you can see as I showed you guys you know you create a match room you load your team um, you can see it here I've loaded my team and then you can have a little chit chat there you know wishing us good luck and whatever the things that we need to talk you can see this is his team and this is my team fairly similar players we don't have really any pacey players I mean my best man is Jankovic he doesn't have really have much pace and uh, I think it's Tadic is one of the players that everybody act actually offering me deals with Tadic and I even have them on my bench because I don't really use wing forwards but I'm keeping a hold of him because I want to save up for Francesco Totti hopefully one day I can get it out of the guy that, who owns it okay guys so I'm gonna leave you guys with the highlights of my first match which I really enjoyed it so hope you guys enjoyed the video in the future I may upload um, all the games that I play against opponent and if I get some good reviews I may actually do um, I, I will upload only the highlights but if I get good reviews I may actually upload the full match and um, or you know the best highlights or whatever and I actually I may comment in throughout the whole match if I get good reviews so if you guys enjoyed the video uh, make sure to give us a thumb up share and subscribe if you haven't make sure to check out my other channels uh, at the moment I am uh, focusing on Master League Online no more tutorial it's now the end of the season uh, make sure to check out my um, World Cup Best 23 Master League Online series where I basically update my 23 players from my Galactico League with the official World Cup uh, best players performance I actually update all these players um, every two week according to FIFA World Cup's index of uh, players best performance uh, so make sure to check that episode as well guys okay I've been Pesep until next time ciao for now guys and viva pro evo